We often talk about destructive versus non-destructive editing, and I want to take a brief moment just to go over the differences between the two. Now, destructive editing is basically whenever we take an image or file, we make modifications to that image and we save it over the original image. Now, this is known as destructive editing because at a later point in time, we can't ever go back to that original image because the changes that we made become the new file. Conversely, non-destructive editing would mean that any changes that we make aren't stored over that original file. Instead, they're stored separately. And so at any point in time, regardless of when or what we want to do, we can always undo or go back to that original image because we haven't actually modified it. So this is non-destructive editing. So Photoshop would be an example of a destructive editor, while Lightroom is an example of a non-destructive editor. So I have this image here, and for the sake of this, tutorial, I have written on it, destructive. And uh, obviously I wouldn't ever do this in real life, but if I open this up in Photoshop and I took a brush and I wrote onto it, destructive, and I save that over the original JPEG file, this becomes that new image and the changes made are permanent. They cannot be undone. So we can't remove this. It is permanently, it is now a part of the image. That's why when we're talking about Photoshop and we're editing in Photoshop, we're always saying to edit on new layers. To use, make sure that you don't edit on your background layer, make sure that you actually save it as a PSD file so that you have the original image still separate from that PSD file. So if used correctly, you don't have to use Photoshop as a destructive editor. You can use it as a non-destructive editor by creating layers and saving out your PSD files. But if you save over the original image, it is destructive. Now Lightroom, on the other hand, it saves its changes that you make to an image inside of what's known as a catalog file. And this catalog file is kind of represented by this little piece of clear cellophane over this image, where the change that I'm making here, in this case I wrote non-destructive onto this cellophane, are basically being overlaid to that image inside of Lightroom and it's rendering out what's known as a preview. So what you're seeing inside of Lightroom, anytime you adjust the sliders and anytime you do anything, is actually just a preview of those images that you're editing with those settings applied to it. So at any time inside of Lightroom, I can hit reset and that preview gets wiped back to the original image. The only time these settings get actually applied to the image inside of Lightroom is when you actually export this file. When you export this file, a new file is created based on your export settings and those settings that you've applied to the image are then applied to that new file. But you're never actually writing over the original file. Instead, all those changes are just being stored in the catalog. So hopefully this helps you guys understand a bit better the differences between destructive versus non-destructive editing.